Okay, today I have um, cases 6 and 7 for you. Um, we'll be doing two separate videos for that, starting with number 6. We have Spawn, the animated one. Two copies of Spawn 2. Spawn 3. In the mind of Todd McFarlane, who created Spawn. I'll have to check that out sometime. I still haven't done that yet. Suicide Squad Hell to Pay with an identical Blu ray. Supergirl, the theatrical cut. Two copies of Supergirl, director's cut. And a Blu-ray of the International Cut, whatever that means, with spaces saved for the um, a 4K Blu-ray combo for all the different cuts I just showed. Not sure what would be included in that. Then we have Supergirl Season 1 Blu-ray. Season 2, Blu-ray. If the name of the show changes, I'll notify, but for now it's just Supergirl. And Season 3. All the discs for the individual seasons look the same. They just vary by the season. Although 4 and 5 both look the same, so here's what 4 and 5 look like. And then here's season six, it's purple, in case you can't tell on camera. Purple. Then we have the complete Diamond Anniversary Edition Superman collection. These are like the 1940s cartoons. We had a live action 19, uh, like 48 or something like that, Superman. Uh, the first two discs work fine. The third disc started to have problems, but they do all look different, so I'm going to show them all. There's a black and white theatrical released series when theaters used to be cheaper, I guess. Then we have Superman the movie on DVD. And special edition DVD. Two discs for special features. At this point in time, I have the Richard Donner cut of Superman 2 Blu ray and 4K sorted in here as well. As well as the three hour cut of the original Superman movie, which I don't think has a 4K for that version, but there is a 4K for the movie itself, right there. Nice red. Um, the Blu rays and the 4Ks for all the four of these Superman movies look the same with the red and blue colors blue for the Blu rays um, and red for the 4Ks, which I think is pretty cool. So, way to keep a shared continuity and continuity among the discs as well. That's the Richard Donner cut, which is actually longer, I think, than the theatrical, or shorter than the theatrical, I mean. Blu ray Richard Donner cut. Richard Donner cut 4K. We have Superman 3, which is the only one of these not to have Lex Luthor in it. Two and four. There's three on Blu ray. Three on 4K. We have four on DVD. Blu ray. 
and four can have an open space for um, Cartoon Craze Volume One. I have Volume Two. Volume Three, which makes it look like Popeye and Superman were gonna fight, but they don't. Kind of lame, but oh well. And I have spaces for volumes four and five, and because we have volume six here. And I did not put spaces for in between 6 and 17 because that'd be too many spaces. What would that be like? 11 spaces, I think. So I didn't want to do that. But here's 17. Six, uh, volume 6 is Casper and Friends, Spoo and King about Africa. This one's Little Lulu and Little Audrey, The Lost Dream. 18 is Mighty Mouse, Heckle and Jekyll, Woof Woof. And here. Uh, volume 24 is Sing Alongs. So that's kind of interesting. And then Betty Boop and Grampy is 25, Volume 25 here. And that's all the cartoon craze stuff that I have. I want to try and get the rest in between all of those. Um, naturally, because. Why wouldn't I? And then we have two identical discs for some classic cartoons. Uh, I couldn't tell you which, what all is on here without looking at the case for it. Like the actual case for it. And then we have Star Odyssey, also includes Superman Electric Earthquake, which is why it's under DC. Um, Felix the Cat, Astramos, Rocky Jones, Space Ranger. Escape into Space and the new Three Stooges, The Littlest Martian. So, having the Superman thing on there is why it's placed here. And then for a Blu ray, spaces for a Blu ray DVD combo of Superman, The Last Son of Krypton, which is an interesting little animated movie, but it's kind of like three episodes of the show. Sort of. Um, Superman Returns on DVD. The bonus feature disc has Lex and Kryptonite. Um, this is an okay Superman movie. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst one out there. We have a Science of Superman disc. Um, Burned copy of Superman Returns here. And a Blu ray. Two spaces for the 4K. And we have Superman and Lois Season 1. All three discs look like that. This guy does a good job as Superman, and she does a good job as Lois. One of her eyes is veered off, but uh, doesn't distract from the story at all. Then we have season two, where all three discs look like this. This is disc two, because I was watching this disc one recently. And I put it back. Then we have Superman DC Supervillains Bizarro, where I think Bizarro is only actually in one or two of the three episodes included. So, yeah. And I have a space for a DVD of All Star Superman right here. Then we have Superman Red Sun, where he's a communist. But still ends up working with President Lex Luthor. Uh, space for a Blu ray. And I think a 4K of that as well, or a Blu ray DVD combo or something like that. Then we have Superman Batman Apocalypse right here with a green arrow short. Um, disc 2 has Dark Side on it. So there you go. He's basically Thanos. He doesn't need stones. Stones. Blu ray DVD combo for that. Superman Batman Public Enemies. Blu ray DVD combo for that as well. Maybe I'll get standalone Blu rays. I, I honestly don't know what's available, so I'm just going to head. Um, same with Superman Shazam Return of Black Adam right here. Superman Unbound, 
And I already have a Blu-ray DVD combo version of Superman Doomsday. It's that bonus disc for the DVD. It's a two-disc DVD. Um, the reason it wasn't a Blu-ray DVD combo was because the Blu-ray came with All-Star Superman on Blu-ray. So, yeah. And then we have Death of Superman, basically the same story. And it's Reign of the Superman, kind of dealing with the aftermath of that. Then we have Man of Tomorrow. All of these, by the way, have spaces for Blu-ray DVD combos. Then we have Swamp Thing. And the return of Swamp Thing here. I think they should make a new Swamp Thing movie. We have Swamp Thing's show, both discs look the same. I watched the pilot episode and it was pretty good. I have two spaces for Blu-rays of that and one space for Blu-rays of the two movie collection. Um, then we have Teen Titans season one as well as the complete series. I might get rid of the season one here, because at this point it's really redundant. Um, disc one. Each disc has a different character on it, as you will see. That one had Raven, first one had Robin, there's Beast Boy, Cyborg. Which Cyborg's not actually a teenager, so I'm not sure why he's with the teen Titans. But here's Starfire. Deathstroke, Slade Wilson. Um, forget this guy's name, but uh, Trigon. Maybe it's Trigon. I don't know. I forget. We have Teen Titans, the Judas Contract on DVD and Blu-ray. Blu-ray does look, it has the same design, but it, it's black instead of orange. So, there you go. And we have Teen Titans Go Season 2 Part 1 with Beast Boy and, and Disc 2 with Cyborg. And we have Teen Titans Go to the Movies. Because... Why not? Space for the right combo. Then we have Teen Titans Go versus Teen Titans. Space for Blu ray combo. Then we have Titans Season 1 on DVD. All three discs look the same. And the, Blu -ray, the two Blu rays also look the same. So, moving on, we have Season 2 on DVD and Blu ray. Here's what they. what all five discs look like three Blu rays, two DVDs. Or, Two Blu-rays, three DVDs. And then I only have three DVDs, or the DVDs for season three here. I could have gotten the whole series today, but I went with getting something else instead. Um, that has three discs, three spaces for Blu-rays, two spaces for DVDs of season four, the final season, and then uh, two spaces for Blu-rays of that. Then we have V for Vendetta with two spaces for a Blu-ray combo. Watchmen, theatrical cut, Blu-ray looks the same, I just noticed that. I have two Blu-ray director cuts uh, with different special feature discs, so there's that one. And that one. And then the 4K disc is super lazy right there. But that, it, that being said, it has a... 215 minutes or it includes some like motion comic stuff which is kind of cool then we have Watchmen the show all three discs look the same I have two spaces saved for blu-rays of that then we have Wonder Woman season one which the discs look the same but have different colored bands on it second disc has a white band third one has a blue band and then season two has a black band like that on disc four. Same with season three. Then I have a space for a DVD of this for Wonder Woman movie. 
and 101 bloodline bloodlines my bad um, there we go two spaces for 4k combo then we have out of the DCU we have dead silence not to be confused with this next title Dead Silent. This one's about a girl that sees her parents get killed and doesn't speak a word ever, ever since. Um, the other one is about a ventriloquist dummy, I think. Then we have the Dean Martin Celebrity Roasts, Roasting Bob Hope. Should be fun if I ever have 48 minutes to kill. Death and Cremation. Um... There we go. Deepwater Horizon about a oil oil drilling platform disaster. Then we have the best man, space for a Blu-ray. Deliver us from Eva, space for a Blu-ray. Something new, space for a Blu-ray. Then I have Demon Slayer season one part one. All, all six discs look the same. I also have Season 1 Part 2. And a Blu-ray of the canon movie. Um, Muggin Train, I guess. Is how that's pronounced. Uh, space for DVD of this. Um, yeah, I want to get more of Demon Slayer because I watched the first episode of Wild, or in 2021 and it was pretty good. So... I want to get more of that. Then we have Demolition Man and Over the Top. Right there. Deja Vu. Great movie. Space for triple formatting. Uh, Dennis the Menace, which I got a holiday special of recently that isn't in here yet. Dennis the Menace Strikes Again. With a different kid. Different cast altogether, actually. Um, the Descent. Great movie. No, it's space for Blu-ray. Despicable Me. I have two identical DVDs and a Blu-ray with two spaces for triple formatting. And we have Despicable Me 2 on DVD and Blu-ray with two spaces for triple formatting. I only have a DVD so far for Despicable Me 3. Spaces for triple formatting, of course, because it's me. I really enjoy those movies. And then we have The Animal and The Bench Warmers. Um, other than them being in a six-movie Laugh Out Loud collection, I don't know anything about them, about those two titles. So hopefully they're good. But um, what I got the six-pack for was for Deuce Bigelow, European Gigolo, and House Bunny. Um... And I have two spaces saved for a Blu-ray of each title. Then we have Joe Dirt and Masters of Disguise, another one I got in this six-pack that I was looking for. So three for... Th three, yeah, three, no. Uh, space for a Blu-ray of Masters of Disguise. Then we have The Devil's Own. Die Hard. Uh, the second disc does look different, so I'm going to go ahead and show it. Right there. Two spaces for a triple formatting. Same with the rest of these. Die Hard 2. Die Harder. Disc 2. Die Hard 3 with a vengeance. Here, this one has Samuel L. Jackson. The one on that first disc looks kind of cheesy. Now on the second disc looks cool. Live Free or Die Hard on DVD and Blu-ray, which look different. So, there we go. And I have two DVDs for Die Hard 5. It's that one and that one. That one's a combo disc, which hopefully works as a regular DVD. If not, I'll be getting rid of it. But for now, I'll just leave it. And I have an extended cut on Blu-ray. 
basis for triple formatting of all those previous five titles. Then we have Dirty Dancing with a similar looking second disc, but it is different enough to show it here. And I have Dirty Dancing Havana Nights. Disaster movie, yes it is. It is very much a disaster while wow, being set during a disaster, so it, yeah. And we have Disney Short Films collection on DVD, Blu-ray. Um, the design itself for the next two discs look the same, but one's in red and black and white, and one's just a black and white, so here's the DVD. Blu-ray right there. And I have a space save for a Blu-ray of Disturbia. Interesting movie there. Divergent. Interesting. Uh, Insurgent. And Allegiant. Um, and... Since one of the characters in the Divergent series is named number four, I imagine this is his origin story. I am number four. I have it with the rest of the Divergent movies. Then we have Django Unchained, where I want to get a Blu-ray, but haven't done so yet. Um, then we have five dog movies on this disc. I think this is a 20 movie collection for the dog movies, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we'll count them as we go. We have Toby Mateague, uh, Lassie and the Painted Hills, Son of the Navy, Carol of the Mountains, Return of Rin Tin Tin. That's five. And we have four on this next disc, so that makes nine. Angel Dog, My Sh Dog Shep, George, and Coco. Okay, I guess this is just a uh, 19 movies, I guess. Interesting. The Silver Trail, The Test, Vengeance of Rana, Fangs of the Wild, Law of the Wolf, and Skull and Crown. Then we have Karate Dog, Chili Dog, Behave Yourself, Mock Goes to Hollywood, and Pardon My Pups. Uh, we're approaching a fairly large section here. Uh, do you believe? No idea what that's about. Space for Dr. Doolittle 1, Dr. Doolittle 2. Dr. Doolittle 3, space for Dr. Doolittle 4, RDJ Doolittle, where he plays the title character. Then we have Dr. Who, Shada, Disc 1, main program and bonus features, just over two hours. And the dirty animals. And for 144 minutes, we have disc 2 with the webcast version, whatever that means. Um, Doctor Who's a fairly large section here, so I think the rest of the case might be. Not a, good case, but a good chunk of the rest of the case is Doctor Who. Then we have, I'm not sure what season this is, but we have disc 1. It's a six disc season, I think. Yes, it is. Okay. Disc two. Those guys look weird. Cool, but weird. Speaking of weird guy, weird looking guys. Disc three. But wait, there's more. Disc four. Disc five. 
most normal looking character on the disc is the Dalek right here. Which I actually have a Lego version of. And then you have Season 6 Part 1, which means that must have been before Season 6. Part 1 Disc 1, Part 1 Disc 2, right there. Part two, the discs look the same for those two as well. And I think this is season six again, disc one. This is disc season seven, I don't know. Two. And we have disc one for this, whatever season this is. It doesn't say on the disc, it just says from 2013. So. There's that. And this two here has Nebula. She played Nebula in the MCU. Of course, she had a bald cap on for, and other prosthetic stuff. This four here. Uh, this five. I mean, pretty soon I'll be showing, just okay, starting now, I'll show one out of the next 12 discs, and one I'm going to show will be disc 12. They, they all look the same. Same with this Matt Smith Doctor Who collection. All 10 discs for that look the same. Same with the nine discs for Peter Capaldi. In case you haven't noticed, these are still Doctor Who titles. Then we have Twice Upon a Time. Hour long special. Then we have Season 10, Disc 1. Blu-ray, disc two on Blu-ray, then disc three on Blu-ray. It says disc one, but it's also it's disc three. We have four. And here's what the uh, Judy Whittaker Doctor Who discs look like. I'm gonna give her a chance if I don't like her. I'll watch the entire season. Actually, I might watch her just. Why not? Then we have Doctor and Covenants and Church History DVD presentation right here. Doctor and Covenants stories. And an identical two disc collection of Doctor and Covenants and Church History DVD presentation two disc version. Then we have a three disc Doctrine and Covenants and Church History Visual Resource DVD. Domestic Disturbance. I used to have just a VHS for that one. Then we have Domino with space for a Blu ray. Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead, space for a Blu ray. Doom, space for a Blu ray. Doomsday, space for a DVD. Double Jeopardy, that is not the uh, game show. Bram Stoker's Dracula. Space for Blu-ray. Dreamcatcher, space for Blu-ray. The original DuckTales series. Each disc looks different, so I'm going to go ahead and show all of them. One disc two. Uh, it's a nine disc set with a bonus movie. Disc three. Volume two, disc one. Volume two, disc three. Volume 
to disk three. I think I said that when I meant disk two. And volume three, disk one. And the next disk makes it look like Scrooge McDuck got cold shoulder. Yeah, disc three there. And the bonus movie that I mentioned it came with is Treasure of the Lost Lamp, right there. I think it was a genie lamp, if I'm not mistaken. Then we have Dukes of Hazard, the beginning. The girl that plays Daisy there is really pretty. Space for Blu ray. Then we have Dukes of Hazard, season one. The uh, OG show. OG meaning original. And all the discs for the entire series look the same. <laughs> so, once I've showed you one disc, I've showed you them all basically, because they all look the same. So, um, for the rest of the series, I won't be showing the discs. I'll just be saying, I have all seven seasons. Um, but that is it for this video. Uh, after I upload this, I'll be right back with case number seven. I'm actually going to try and make it while I'm uploading this. So, there we go.